Hi guys, JT here, and today I'm bringing you some information on the Humble Bundle Bundle in your face VR Encore Bundle of December 2023. To help you answer the question, should you buy it? By using the link provided in the description below, not only will you gain access to this bundle, but you also have the opportunity to support this channel. Your support will mean the world to me, and I genuinely appreciate it. Anyway, let's get into this. And number one, we have Zenith The Last City, an anime inspired VR MMORPG. It has already made history as one of the first VR MMORPGs available on Oculus Quest, PSVR, and Steam. Zenith has a lot to offer with plenty of quests and an immersive atmosphere that allows you to climb and glide your way through the massive open world. You can choose from three classes, each with a variety of subclasses to choose from, and the standard roles of support, tank, and DPS. Combat in Zenith is varied and interesting based on your class, with different methods of attacking enemies. You can play as a blade master and use dual blades, or as a mage and shoot beams from your weapon. The game relies on stamina, which can be increased by collecting tiers scattered throughout the game's world. The game is still in early access, with max level of 40, and with more content to come, but it's still worth playing if you're looking for a new MMORPG experience. The only downside is the quest that requires you to fly around a forest area and flip switches, which is difficult to locate on the map. But overall, Zenith is a magnificent title that can make you forget about your stressful day at work, at least for a little while. So if you're a fan of virtual reality MMORPGs, Zenith The Last City can be a perfect virtual playground. And number 2 we have Wanderer, a VR adventure game. You play as Asher Newman, a time traveler who is trapped in an alternate history after stepping into the Phoenix Project Accelerator. The game's narrative is low density and doled out through found items like videos, books, and posters, which give you valuable clues on how to solve puzzles. You'll have to invest meaning in less obvious objects, so it's important to look around. The puzzles are challenging and have no instructions on how to solve them. The most challenging puzzles require you to travel back and forth through the game's discrete temporal set pieces to gather the right objects. While some puzzles can be frustrating, it feels rewarding to come up with an organizational method for the many items and clues scattered throughout the game. Wanderer features an ever-present wristwatch companion, Sam, who is a clue dispenser when needed, and also acts as the game's inventory. Sam's voice is a dead ringer for Matthew McConaughey, which is a nice touch. Wanderer also has arcade-style interludes that provide a break from puzzle solving, such as guitar band-style rock sequence, where you play the drums to the beat. The game is punctuated with well-designed set pieces that provide an immersive backdrop of the story. You will travel to different time periods by grabbing key items and inserting them into a disc where the clasp of the watch would usually be. However, the game can be frustrating because you have to remember every item you've encountered and hope it's the right one the game intends you to use. So you better have a notebook ready. If you try to create a time paradox by blowing up a bomb where you shouldn't, or shoot an arrow in the head of Nikola Tesla, you will be kicked from the timeline and forced to try again, just like shooting Makarov in the head in Modern Warfare 3. Overall, Wonder is an engaging game that offers a fun and challenging VR experience. And number 3 we have Battle Group VR. This game takes a traditional genre and cleverly moves it into the VR space, literally, immersing you in the action by putting you onto the bridge of the ship that commands it. The tutorial alone is a breathless experience as you watch battles play out in extremely dramatic ways while standing on the bridge, watching your ship pump out rounds and pursuing enemy combatants. While technically a real-time strategy game, playing through the campaign means you'll have to work a while before you'll have an entire fleet to command, but that gives you time to employ the many strategies needed to master the game. Each ship comes equipped with a shield that isn't just a bubble, but has front, left, right, and back areas that each have their own power. The fleet you assemble is full of a diverse range of different classes of ships, from large battleships to smaller torpedo ships, with a whole range of weaponry, electronic warfare, and other tricks to use against your enemies in battle. You can even choose different captains, each with stats that you can assign, and sometimes with unique abilities. The action takes place around you, but you control most of it via a small battle grid making it easy to select and give move orders to your ships. And if you want more direct control, you can grab the yoke of your command ship and issue direct commands like you're piloting it. One warning though, be prepared for motion sickness, especially when you take control of the command ship, but it's a small price to pay for such an immersive experience. Currently in early access, Battle Group VR is still in development, with more features, maps, and game modes to come. But even in its current state, it's extremely polished and recommended. Being the fleet commander on the bridge of your own command ship while a full-pitched space battle is happening around you is absolutely amazing to behold. So if you're a fan of real-time strategy games and virtual reality, you'll love 
Battle Group VR. And number four, we have Into the Radius VR. A single player game that combines a supernatural survival shooter with careful maintenance of weapons and equipment. Set in the remote Soviet mining town of Pechorsk, players must survive in a surreal exclusion zone full of uprooted trees and floating structures where ghost like creatures wander. As the last survivor of a mysterious accident, you explore the bizarre zone while keeping an eye on your health. The game has a story mode, and you pick up missions from the United Nations Pechorsk Special Committee, earning money to buy new rifles and attachments to make yourself less conspicuous in a wasteland. Sneaking along walls is advisable to avoid attracting too many enemies, and many missions involve tracking down an item while filling up your backpack with vital loot along the way. Between missions, you receive cries for help from the mysterious Katya and her fellow sufferers, providing new background stories in the form of short audio messages. The dense atmosphere in the bizarre world creates a thrilling game experience. You must manage inventory, which is less effectively implemented than in other survival shooters. And in hectic moments, targeting and picking up objects with the VR controller is too imprecise. However, weapon handling makes for exciting moments, especially when using motion controllers to reload shotgun ammunition or stow it on a holder. Good preparation is necessary at the base, where you have to spray gun parts regularly with oil and clean the barrel with a brush and paper towel to ensure a reliably functioning shooting in the zone. The feeling between missions is that you are in a fight for survival for which you must prepare yourself scrupulously. Overall, Into the Radius VR is a classy VR survival shooter, and the next best thing to playing a stalker VR equivalent. And number 5 we have... Rumble. A VR game set in the world of elemental magic, where you engage in physical combat using movements to cast spells and murder other players. The game is still in early access, and some players love it, while others have issues with the gameplay and bugs. It is a fun and rewarding experience that'll make you feel like a demigod or being a character from Avatar The Last Airbender for just a moment. Rumble will provide you with a physically active VR experience. It is important that you follow instructions and have some nimble physical movements. If you have experience with sports or martial arts, learning the game becomes easier. While some of you may blame the game for mistakes, if you learn the moves, you should be all sweet. The move system is strict yet forgiving, providing a sense of satisfaction after successfully executing a move or combo. Overall, Rumble is a game that requires patience and a willingness to learn. The game has some bugs and control issues, but those who enjoy it find it to be a unique and immersive experience that rewards effort and skill. So if you're looking for a challenging VR game with a strong focus on physical movement and spellcasting, Rumble might be worth checking out. However, if you're not willing to put in the effort or prefer more polished games, you may want to wait to play this game until it is out of early access. And number 6 we have... Vertigo Remastered a revitalized version of the 2016 VR shooter game Vertigo, which has been given a new aesthetic look, refreshing gameplay and richer art style. The game places you in the science facility of an alternate universe, filled with robots, aliens and gadgetry that will help you escape the facility and return to the surface. The game has a mix of combat, puzzles and exploration, with a tongue-in-cheek, portal-esque, half-life adjacent vibe. The game's arcade-style shooting combat doesn't have ammo or health pickups, making it more of a one-way ride that you'll complete eventually with checkpoints. There are few weapons available, and each gun is rendered obsolete when you pick up a new one. Instead of finding new guns, the game focuses on exploring the entire game to unlock various cool things in the game's tech tree. The game features classic enemy progression, with new types arriving one by one until you have to fight them all in various admixtures. There is a heavy emphasis on shooting, but it also offers a nice mix of puzzles. One of the game's highlights is the whimsical transitions to wildly different parts of the facility. The game has a crazy and whimsical tone that compensates for the game's shooting department's grunt work. The game's well-varied boss fights are fun and interesting intermissions to the overall shooting experience. So if you'd like to experience a more casual VR shooting experience, Vertigo Remastered is definitely one to play. And number 7 we have... Superfly, an open-world VR sandbox game that allows you to experience your superhero fantasies. With access to 12 movement modes inspired by popular superheroes, you can experiment with different combinations of powers and movements to create unique heroes. The game features 8 gloves that offer different superpowers that can be swapped seamlessly in real time, giving you an engrossing and an uninterrupted gaming experience. Set in a huge comic book style world with diverse neighborhoods, the game allows you to interact with tens of thousands of vehicles and dynamic objects. With unique combat mechanics for each movement mode, and up to 24 side grades that can be unlocked by collecting gears in story mode, the game offers a physics-based movement, combat, and terrain that leads to emergent gameplay limited only by your creativity. In Superfly, you can participate in racing missions to test your speed and dexterity, and compete with other players through an online leaderboard. 
There are also three replayable boss fights that will test your skills and dexterity. The game offers an unforgettable VR experience, and you can live out your superhero dreams by exploring the vast open world city. The game offers two modes of play, story mode and sandbox mode, and it is so engrossing that you'll keep coming back for more. Superfly is an excellent game for comic book fans, and the VR experience is well worth it. And that's all for this bundle. This bundle is one of the better VR bundles that have been released over the last few months. It offers a very diverse experience for both casual and more serious players, and I would highly recommend it, if you're into VR. Anyway, don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.